welcome to this video from in 28 minutes thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms udemy safari and pact let's welcome our lead instructor ranga rao karanam come back in this video we would be talking about redundancy it's a common architectural term what does redundancy mean and why is it important there are two important non-functional requirements that all applications want to achieve one is scalability the other one is availability scalability is kind of related to performance as well so these three are kind of the most important ones and to be able to scale applications very well we have two options one is get better infrastructure get systems with more cpu more memory but there are limits to what you can do with this kind of scalability which is called vertical scalability there are limits to vertical scalability and that's the reason why we go for horizontal scalability and that means we have multiple instances of the microservices multiple instances of the naming servers multiple instances of the api gateway and multiple instances of the centralized logging server and this is what is called horizontal scaling or also called redundancy instead of having one microservice we would have multiple instances what does redundancy provide it provides you with better performance it provides you with better scalability and most importantly it provides you with availability even if one of the instances of the naming server is down the other instance is available and that means the applications can continue to work without a problem so the two reasons why you have redundancy built in duplicates of the same infrastructure components deployed in multiple instances you do that because you would want better performance as well as you'd want better availability you'd want the applications to be available all the time in 28 minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like udemy safari online and pact we have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months the question is what do you want to learn next thanks for watching keep learning in 28 minutes